Hindu nationalists hate these tweets. So, um, guys, if you're not familiar, last week we learned that uh, the Delhi High Court has issued an order for Twitter to remove some of our tweets. Actually, maybe it was two weeks ago. Honestly, time was moving quickly. And uh, this is part of an ongoing, you know, legal campaign against us, judicial harassment in many forms um, to get us just completely removed from uh, having access to India in general because of our blasphemy. And, um, you know, we, we found out this news because it was reported in the Hindustan Times. And, but we didn't, we didn't know what the offending tweets were. We're like, well, what could it be? Um, we had some suspicions because we have a few tweets out there with um, the goddess Kali, which is what started this whole blasphemy affair anyways. But we didn't actually work for, we didn't know for sure what we did that was so offensive and so bad that the, the these justices in the Delhi High Court said, Twitter, you have to remove this. Well, our lawyers were able to obtain the court order now. And I read the court order and through this court order, we have revealed what the no-no tweets were, what the super offensive tweets were. What, what are these yeah. tweets that the Hindu nationalists hate so much? And I have a plot twist. There's actually one of these tweets that I hate. Oh, okay. So you don't endorse all of the tweets. No, I don't. Mm. Okay. By the way, thank you so much to our lawyers who managed to get these things for us. The reason why we can afford these lawyers is because you guys uh, supported our uh, GoFundMe when it comes to our legal costs. So if you guys want to help us continue um, being able to afford these legal costs, link in the description to our GoFundMe for our legal costs because Hendutva is after us. Like they have not stopped, right? Ever since we've been- for over a year. Hinduism. Yeah, like they are still butthurt. They're still after us, okay? They have not let go of this. So we need to constantly pay legal fees to figure out how to defend ourselves. So thank you to our lawyers for all of this. A really yes. um, and grateful. because of instances like this, our legal expenses are going to increase. So please um, contribute to our GoFundMe. Again, link is in the description. It does help us a lot um, yes. because this ain't over yet. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So, so we're going to show four, four tweets, four tweets basically that we find in the court. Guys, these are these tweets have been displayed in the court in court documents, right? So this is not like this is not just a Twitter thing, okay? This is like this has become a legal issue in the courts of India, okay? So we have four tweets to show. Let's start with the first one, okay? Okay, this so is, the first one is uh, promoting a speech I gave recently in June. I uh, mm. gave a talk at the Center for Inquiry Canada which was awesome. Actually, you can still watch that talk just called the Blasphemous Art Project. Uh, if you look on YouTube for that, you can still see it um, where I talk it, about the Blasphemous Art Project. But in the photo, what do we mm. see here? Well, first of all, the big offender is going to be uh, the goddess Kali making out yes. with uh, Sita, Sita, who, yeah. the wife of Lord Rama and yes. promoting uh, marriage equality this is in so, India. This is so hot, by the way. We, this, it is, really it is one of our stuff. best arts. Yes. Um, okay. And also, well, at the bottom, you you also see uh, Jesus and Muhammad making out on making top of a rainbow there. Kaaba. Yes. I I tend to think they're less concerned about that. I don't think but, they're uh, concerned about this. I think I think they're concerned about um, their mother Kelly being involved. Yes. But yeah, so this is this tweet promoting an event um, is in the course of has been complained about in the course of India. Uh, and it's basically because of this image being included here, right? That's the reason why they are against. Like, do you, based on the court documents that you reviewed, do they mention what what the problem with this tweet is? Uh, not in the document that I saw. Okay, okay. But we could guess that it's basically this one, right? Um, yeah, amazing. they don't they don't name. Oh, this tweet is bad because of this. They just list the tweets that uh, they want Twitter to remove. Okay, they want a Twitter term. Okay, so this is the next. So what what's funny is that this tweet, if you notice from the URL, is actually not even from our account. <laughs> this tweet 
is from the account of um, CFI uh, Center for Inquiry Canada's Victoria, BC branch. And it, wow. coincidentally, their Twitter account got suspended for um, completely irrelevant reasons. But I was like, I was looking at the documents. I was like, this isn't even our account. This is someone else. <laughs> they're, they're going so after our people. Out, I reached out to Ona Romano, the executive mm -hmm. director of uh, the CFIC Victoria branch. And I was like, you guys are in our court documents. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great. Great. So okay. what I am presuming this tweet was, was um, promotion of my speech at CFIC. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably, it was, probably it was most likely the same image. Yeah. All right. Third one. Okay. Now this is the plot twist. Now this is actually the tweet that I hate. Um, mm. And so you're criticizing Atheist Republic's tweet. You're like, yes, this is not openly good... so okay. and proudly so. Um, mm -hmm. So it is a meme and it shows uh, the Prophet Muhammad flying on Barak to go talk to uh, Allah in heaven. And then on the other side, you see Hanuman like being this flying monkey and he's got a little uh that's lord rama and i'm not sure who the other guy on his shoulder is maybe that's rama's brother but anyway so it the joke is that they're both flying mythical beings right so it says most internet quote unquote debates these days followers of the ideal man who rode a flying monkey meaning uh Lord Rama on the shoulders of Hanuman versus followers of the perfect man who ro rode a flying donkey, uh, meaning Prophet Muhammad flying on Barak. Um, What's the issue with this? Well, if you look in the bottom across oh, the images, You're right. you You're see right. these two little fighting cartoon monkeys, which no, this is I completely disapprove of and fully condemn yes. because this is a uh, intimating that muslims and hindus are just fighting monkeys i this find that dehumanizing, dehumanizing so, yes and that's something i condemn um, i condemn it we should we're gonna delete this live on air right well i wasn't sure if we should do that because i wasn't sure if that would be in, like cause any sort of problem i was gonna maybe ask the lawyer i don't know no we should delete this so guys we don't have anything that, that we don't have anything I, I completely agree with Susanna. I was like, it's it's just basically this part that it is an issue. Uh, yeah. I don't have any problem with the joke issue. here. Yeah, it's a huge issue. But I don't have any problem with the text. It's a funny joke. I don't have any problem with the comparing these two. Also, that's a kind of funny joke. This is like th this putting this down here. This is a dehumanization of the member of these communities. If the, the only pro the, the main problem, but uh, I shouldn't say only as if it's a small problem. The, the main problem with this whole meme is this this section here. Okay, I think we should delete it. However, I must say that I don't think that's what they the people who brought this to court. I don't think that's what they had an issue with. I think this I don't think so either. Issue. Yeah, I think they were offended with this making fun of Hinduism. I don't think they had the, the direct they comparison with, to the comparison. Yes, making fun of Hinduism. We we have a different problem with our own meme than the than the problem that they have with us. I think we should delete this. I, I don't. I I think we should delete this and remove it from our cycle as well. So because well, yeah, that's what meme... I was gonna say. Part of the problem is is that we have a huge backlog of memes that have been like in our uh, meme bank for years, and so stuff gets circulated that I see, and I'm like, oh no. Um, and then I go look, and I was like, oh, I don't know who added this because it was before my time. Um, but yeah, like I, I hate this kind of thing and I don't approve of it. And I deleted it everywhere else except here because I wasn't sure if that'd be an issue um, for the court. Legal, um, you, when you guys saying we shouldn't delete this, there's nothing legal about this is a tweet legally. Like we have records of it here now we've streamed it of what the tweet was. So I think because Secretary Rice is saying uh, probably right, you should talk to lawyers first. I don't think you need legal advice to delete a tweet. We don't like this tweet. We don't like what this tweet stands for and we want to delete it so i think that's fine um but saying but completely agree with your analysis right what do you, mia is saying you're getting woke vibes what do you mean that's like is so this stupid it's not why do you get woke this isn't to say it's not okay to compare people <laughs> to non-human animals yeah this is not it's actually this... against terms of service like 
Yeah, actually, I think we should delete this because it's. I mean, I think this was added to our meme, you know, cycle because we are completely against this. Like, I think this part of it was not noticed until Susanna saw it. So good catch, Susanna. But we're completely against this, and also this could put our account at risk because it is against TOS. This is dehumanization of an entire group of people. Um, so Armin, so I'm will you do go me the honors of deleting this live on air? Yes. I will do it right now. This will be our uh, official apology, mea culpa, for this this meme. Yes, we're sorry for, we're sorry. We're we sorry apologize for the no for no, no meme. Yes. So we, the final yeah. tweet. Okay. <clears throat> is, um, a picture of like a Indian couple sitting before a priest at this little shrine on the ground, and it uh, says, "Your ignorance and stupidity are my sources of income." <laughs> Okay, this is fair. This is funny. This so is, what was I'm... funny to me was the fact that um, this is like that they went digging for these tweets, right? I In an email to our lawyers, I said, I find it interesting and telling that they chose these four tweets. Most of them don't actually involve like the blasphemy that the original complaint um, was like so offended by. Um, it, it just shows such a clear bias. Because the majority of our content and our memes that we post across social media are about like Christianity. Then like I would say second would be Islam. And then third would be Hinduism. So they went a looking distant, for these a tweets. Distant third, a distant third. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. you went out of your way to go find these tweets to be so offended by. But they like all of the other content that we have against Christianity or Islam, like, is could equally be seen as just as offensive, just as blasphemous. But the bias is so clear that the court is saying you have to remove these four. <laughs> like, yeah. it's it's the most, it's just so bald-faced. Yeah. It's such, such, such hypocrites. Like, do they have no issue? Like, we make jokes about this with Christianity and Islam and Judaism all the time and they have no issue with it like and you're they're using the, their legal system as a way they're such hypocrites and by the yeah I'm not they want to try to get much. our entire account suspended over this yeah over this over this yeah including a tweet that isn't even from our account <laughs> i can't get over <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> yeah i mean maybe we just should do their homework at least guys please again so before we go uh, we're going to be dealing with this for years to come, okay? So they're not going to let go. So please help us um, defend ourselves against this, you know, all these. Again, the consequences of these legal actions could be beyond India, right? They are going after Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to legally pressure these companies to remove us from these platforms, right? Um, and the legal pressure, I mean, Facebook, Twitter, and um, YouTube, they care more about their um, their market in India than, you know, Atheist Republic's tiny little team, right? So we need, we need resources to be able to defend ourselves against all of this harassment, legal harassment. So please support us in the description. There's a link to our GoFundMe account for our legal GoFundMe account. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I just put the link in the in the live chat. Um, we will be actually raising the goal of our fundraiser soon. We're still kind of um, calculating and ascertaining, um, yeah. you know, additional costs and fees and um, all the stuff that goes into this. Um, and I really appreciate everyone who supported thus far. Like Armin said, this isn't going away anytime soon. But we did promise you guys that when we have updates that we can talk about, we will tell you about. And so today, I mm. thought that this would be a little mm. juicy thing to get into. Because yeah. I was like, with New our discovery. lawyer's permission, guys. When we share something publicly, it's because we talk. The lawyers like let us. Okay, so we're not. We know that we're not supposed to talk about everything we do legally, but we do want to give updates. So we do tell them to do the things that we could share with you. Okay. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. 
We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.